According to a new U.S. Census Bureau report, college students with a STEM degree have a greater chance of finding employment after graduation, but not necessarily in their field of study. Dr. Jim Peach, Regents Professor of Economics and International Business at New Mexico State University, says that the idea that everyone with a STEM degree is going to work in their field is not supported by the evidence. The Census Bureau report indicated that 74 percent were of uh, STEM degree holders were working in a non-STEM field. Uh, conversely, a lot of STEM occupations, uh, the people working there do not have a STEM degree. Uh, there's nothing unusual about that. Dr. Peach adds that many studies are not using the same definitions when it comes to STEM. In New Mexico, the universities are encouraged to produce additional STEM degrees and actually STEM age, science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and health related. STEM degrees in STEM fields can be very diverse, which can result in higher placement of employment in certain STEM related fields. Dr. David Rockstraw, Department Head of Chemical Engineering at New Mexico State University, says many of his students find employment after graduation because of the diverse field. Uh, we have students going off in the traditional chemicals, oil and gas industry. They're going off into the alternative energy areas. Uh, they're working in nuclear energy. They're working in advanced materials. They're working in weapons. Uh, they're working in food processing. They're going off to graduate school. They're going off into medical school. So uh, the opportunities for chemical engineering graduates right now are pretty diverse across the STEM age fields. The census report ranked New Mexico seventh with 26.1 percent of STEM or STEM related jobs. That's according to a survey of civilian employees ages 25 to 64 with at least a bachelor's degree. States with the largest amount of STEM or STEM-related jobs are Maryland at 29.3 percent, Washington at 29.1 percent, and West Virginia at 26.9 percent. For KRWG, I'm Anthony Moreno.